Good morning, you too, my beloved, precious brothers and sisters, November 30th, 2016. We're almost in the month of December, but I want you to be encouraged. I want you to be of good cheer on this day, because this is the day that the Lord has made, and let's rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. Are you rapture ready? I am rapture ready. A lot of people will say, whoa, 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 rapture. There is no talk of the rapture to be found within the scriptures of the King James Version Bible. I want to explain this coming up. I want you to be ready at all times because we know not the day or the hour that our Lord cometh. We're going to talk about that in a moment. We're going to go to some prophecy news. But first, I'm going to have a little bit of my coffee. I want you to be a good cheer today. I'm going to have a little bit of my coffee because we don't know. Is today the day that Yahweh says, go, get my children? Or will it be next week? Will it be next year? Will it be five years from now? We're going to talk about that in a moment. But let me know what you're going to share with Pastor Dave while I have a, I got a little sip of my coffee. Let do that now in the comment section. All right, ministry announcements. I want to get that out of the way. There have been two days now, no offerings to our ministry. And our outreach to the homeless. And uh, if you feel in your heart the Holy Spirit just uh, overtake you, uh, that this is the ministry to support, I'll put the link to our homeless outreach ministry below. Let's go to the news. Some very disturbing coming out of Seattle. Is there judgment now with the wildfires and the tornadoes in Tennessee, Gatlinburg, raging through the south? First, we had wildfires in Israel now in the United States and tornadoes sweeping causing death and damage and destruction is this judgment on America but first let's go to a sad tragic story this time of year where a car goes over a bridge into a homeless encampment let me take you to some news right now I want to share this with all of you in the news this morning. Very, very tragic. One dead, 300 after a car crashes, lands on a homeless encampment. And uh, let me play this for you. NBC 4's Beverly White live in Van Nuys now with what happened. Beverly. Well, Carolyn, the California Highway Patrol a short time ago tells us they are ruling out drugs and alcohol as the cause of this crash in which a 66-year-old driver left the southbound 405 freeway around the Roscoe exit. Now, first responders had to cut a hole in the fence behind me to access the scene, going through steep underbrush to reach the victims. No fire or explosions, but it took 66 firefighters and heavy equipment to reach victims and remove this Honda that crashed into people living in a homeless camp. The driver and two men were hurt. A 40-year-old woman pinned beneath the car was killed. Two of the homeless individuals were pinned under the vehicle, so we actually needed to utilize our special resources, urban search and rescue, and our heavy rescue unit to get the victims out from underneath the vehicle. CHP investigating why the car left the freeway in the first place. What led up to this collision, and uh, we're following up with the driver at the hospital as we speak. And uh, as soon as we can find out what led up to this, I'm sure we can update you all. This man says his friends were among the dead and injured from a tight-knit community of 50 or more. They're pretty much homeless. They don't have no place to go. And they build them a little campsite. And there's people who come around here that feed the homeless. They bring them water. While this retired firefighter here to admire the first responders says his heart aches for the victims. It's unfortunate. And this time of year, Thanksgiving, Christmas, the holiday season, it's just, um, you know, very sad and very tragic. And now the tornadoes sweeping across the United States, the wildfires in Tennessee, Gatlinburg is gone. And is this judgment on America? The extent of Tennessee fire damage comes into grim focus. Everything was on fire. Firing around is every cabin, everything. I said, we got to go, and when we went, I could not believe what I just seen. It's okay, Ray. It's gas! It's gas! Going through that tree, Don't worry about the being stuck there for that one or two minutes. Wildfires burst in Israel. 
now in the United States, um, just tearing through the South, through Tennessee, now tearing through the, the United States of America. We're almost in the month of December. Tornadoes, death and damage and destruction. I'll be right back, but let me ask you in the comment section, is this a judgment on America? First, we have wildfires, a burning inferno in Israel, now in Tennessee. Wildfires raging out of control in Gatlinburg, gone. Is this judgment on the United States of America? We hear of wildfires in the heat of summer, the blazing heat of summer, where there is no rain and a drought. But we're almost in the month of December. This is winter. We hear of tornadoes in the spring and the summer months. But here we are in the winter of 2016. We've got wildfires, an inferno burning out of control. We've got tornadoes sweeping across the United States of America, a whirlwind of death damage and destruction i want to ask all of you in the comment section is this judgment now on the united states of america now moving along quickly i want you to stay with me until the end of this video many people will say i don't see the rapture of the church uh, in scripture i can't see it anywhere there's a reason can the rapture can a time frame be uncovered through scripture, through searching and searching diligently the scriptures. Can we pinpoint the rapture to a time, a day, a year, 2017, a month, maybe September, a time frame of the 23rd or the 24th, or is it actually the day and hour that no man knows? Stay with me because there's a reason and it has to do with the son of perdition who many on YouTube mistakenly call the Antichrist. Stay with me. Let me take you to scripture. With regards to the rapture of the church, I'm waiting because no man knows the day or the hour, not the angels in heaven. Only the Father knows, and we find that in Matthew 24, verse 36. But there is a teaching, a doctrine going around, very popular on YouTube, that uh, in Matthew 24 and in Luke 22, that uh, Yeshua is not speaking privately to his disciples, but speaking to the sinners of the world, the unsaved, and uh, nothing could be further from the truth. So out of love, I want to do a correction. Let me take you to, it's very important, Matthew 24, 36, read along with me. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Now, who is Yeshua speaking to? Let's go to uh, the top. Bear with me just for a moment. You're going to find out that he's speaking to his disciples. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, not unto the multitudes and masses of non-believers, but unto his disciples, see ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you that there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him. Here's your word, privately, in private, not with the masses of non-believers saying, tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Let's go back to, so I want to make that correction. Let's go back to, um, and there's a reason why no man is going to know the day or the hour. Let's go back to Matthew 36. There's so much to cover, but the little time, I just want to go over a couple of things with you. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Many are saying now, are following this teaching on YouTube, and it has to do with the constellations and the lining up to show the woman in travail, cloaked in the sun with a 
a, a crown of 12 stars on her head and the moon at her feet. And this is the rapture of the church and the woman is Jerusalem. And it's going to happen that we have it figured out, that we can figure it out. But uh, the thief in the night is going to come as a thief, overtake you as a thief in the night is not for us. It's for the non-believers. Again, here Jesus is speaking, Matthew 24, to his disciples. Let's go to verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not which hour your Lord doth come. He's telling his disciples to watch, because you do not know the hour that your Lord comes. But know this, that if the good man, who we're talking about the thief in the night, we're going to go to the book of Thessalonians in a moment. Who is he speaking to in private? Privately, he's speaking not to the masses of non-believers, but to his disciples. But know this, if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Now, scripture from 1 Thessalonians is also being used to by by many are following this uh, doctrine that's going around YouTube that this is for the non-believers, not for the church. Let's go to First Thessalonians. Quickly in First Thessalonians chapter five, verses one through four. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall, shall say, brother, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And the teaching, this doctrine is stating that uh, in September, the 23rd of September of next year, 2017, that uh, the constellations will line up and it will... Uh, appear in the heavens and will line up perfectly to show the woman with travail with the male child with the uh, clothed uh, with the sun with a crown of 12 stars upon her head and the moon at her feet this is all going to line up the male child will be born uh and taken up to the ancient of days but if we understand revelation 12 the woman immediately flees until the wilderness this is the last uh three and a half years of uh what is known as the Great Tribulation. The Great Tribulation only lasts three and a half years. The first three and a half years is a time of a false uh, peace. So let me continue on here because this is where they're saying that uh, we can, no matter what Yeshua told us, that we can figure out the, a, a time frame for the rapture of the church, a month, a day, and the year being to, uh, 2017. Because it is the sinners that are in darkness, and we are not of the darkness, but of the light. we got to understand scripture. I just don't want anyone being led astray. For when they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them, as travail upon a woman with a child, and they shall not escape. There's going to be three and a half years of a false peace and safety. The last three and a half years, which is the great tribulation, is going to be the time where the woman... Is, is in travail, like a woman in travail with the child. This is when this John sees this vision in the heavens. But here's where they're saying that we can see and pinpoint the rapture. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. And we're not, because Yeshua has given us not a date, not a day, not a month, but has given us certain things to watch so that we know we are in the season. But we're not going to know the day or the hour. He is going to come at a time that we least expect. 
That's why I'm waiting, no matter how long it takes. He could come today. He could come tomorrow. He could come next year. He could come in five years. But I want to be watching, and I want to be ready at all times. Very important, so stay with me. This is the conclusion. Very important. It has to do with the son of perdition, the lawless one that so many on YouTube mistakenly refer to as the Antichrist. When it has to do with the rapture of the church, many people that do not believe in the pre-tribulation rapture will say that uh, I can't find anywhere in Scripture any reason to believe in a pre-tribulation rapture of the church because the rapture is not busting out of the pages of the Old Testament and of the New Testament. And there's a reason why. Many people today have uh, proclaimed for some time now that Barack Hussein Obama is the Antichrist. Now some are switching over. I see a minister <laughs> switching over. Kind of uh, reference that Donald Trump is now the Antichrist. Let me assure you, the Antichrist is alive and in the world today, the person that will be known as the man of sin, the lawless one. He was in the world a hundred years ago. Many believe that it was Adolf Hitler. Let me explain why we will never know and never pinpoint the time of the rapture of the church and why you don't see the rapture busting out of the pages of the King James Version Bible and why the Antichrist, son of perdition, is alive in the world today because Satan does not know the day or the hour that Yahweh is going to tell Yeshua, go get my children. He's got to have someone waiting in the wings at all times, back in the time of Hitler. Very likely he had Adolf Hitler waiting in the wings because he doesn't know when that rapture will take place. Barack Hussein Obama may have been waiting, the Satan may have had him waiting in the wings because he doesn't know. He's got to have someone in position because he's got just a short window of opportunity once the rapture takes place to act. He's got a short window of opportunity. And Father God is not going to tip him off in any way. He wants to keep him in darkness as to when the rapture of the church will take place. So we are not going to know. Be ready at all times. Be ready. He could come today. He could come tomorrow. He could come in five years. But be ready at all times. God bless you. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to my channel. Link to our ministry below if you would like to help with our mission to help feed the homeless.